Hi there, my name is Terry Smith. I'm the owner of Adorable Deco Decor, where we make and sell wreaths and other types of home decor. I also work toward teaching others to make their own designs through my wreath making group. Today I'm down here in the workshop, finally back from vacation, and I am going to be making a lavender and lamb's ear wreath. So I'm excited to be here today. I, haven't, I feel like I've missed you guys. We had real funky Wi-Fi down in um, where I was, and so I couldn't go live down there. I did think I did. I, I downloaded a video, and that was about as good as I could do. But all right, so let me get things going here. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Nancy. How are you? And I'm a little bit worried. I had to. Um, I tried to go live and then had to back out because the it wasn't working. So I'm going to have to see. I'm hoping that YouTube's working too. Looked like like there might be a hiccup, but but anyway, hey Toma, how are you? And there's Susan, Alvina. Thank you guys for being here. Kelly, Esther, thank you so much. Okay, let me check on YouTube here. Like I said, there it didn't seem right whenever I tried to go live. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I'm hoping it worked. Okay, it looks like it's there. Are we live? I don't know if I can do it over again or not. Let me try one more thing. Hey, Amy. Okay, you guys can see me then? Okay, Janet. Hi, Janet. Amy. Um, I cannot see anything on the YouTube side, so I don't know what happened with it. But if you have any questions, just go. You might have to go over to Facebook or just ask me um, in the comments, and I'll have to go back to it. But for some reason, it's not letting me see YouTube. So, hey, Lori, how are you? And there's Sharon and another Sharon, Liz, Phyllis, and Lynn. Okay, well, like I said, um, I just want to make a real quick wreath. I wanted to make a, I don't have any lavender wreaths in my um, shop right now, and they're pretty popular this time of year. And I've got these uh, really pretty, actually, I, I pulled two different lavender bushes. This one is a little bit more light. Um, the lavender itself is more light, and the greenery is more light. And yeah, you, know, you have to be careful. Lavender, a lot of times, it'll get dark, like this one, which is really pretty on per in person, but it does tend to photograph pretty dark. So I'm planning on mixing these two, just to give it a little bit more depth to it. And then I was going to put it with. Um, I've got a couple of different greens here. This is a eucalyptus spray. It has a, a berry, some berries here too, and um, has the longleaf eucalyptus and then the silver dollar eucalyptus and again some other kinds of berries here, and um, then some more eucalyptus here. But but anyway, we'll blend that with some lamb's ear again to lighten it up, give it another texture. So that's my plan. And then I just wanted to put a burlap bow with it. Just something very um, everyday, something you can use all year long. And uh, so I went ahead, I have this four inch burlap that I was gonna use. And I went ahead and made the bow just with a with four loops here. So, hey Verlene, how are you? And there's Anna, Sylvia. Oh, Janice wanted to know, well, how's my weather? Actually, it was a little bit better today. I spoke my head out to let the dog out a little bit ago. It's like in the low 50s, but it's real windy, so it's still cold. Hey, Amanda. Hey, saying 55, yes. Northern Michigan, that's pretty good for you guys. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I wanted to put this in first, this um, spray that has the, the different types of eucalyptus. And I've already kind of played around with this one and fluffed it. And I wanted to make sure I had enough room in here where I can put my other sprays. So how's everybody been? I feel like I haven't seen you guys forever. I think I went live right before we left, but like I said, the, the Wi-Fi was kind of iffy where I was, and so I just couldn't go, couldn't go live. 
All right, I'm going to go ahead and actually let me zoom you guys in. There we go. Hey, Sue, how are you? I've been thinking about you. I need to, I'm going to, I got some updates for you, Sue. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the bow in this area, probably about 8 o'clock, and then we'll build out away from that. I'm going to go ahead and put this spray in first. I think I can just stick it all in one piece. Just right in here. Heck, you can almost just go with that um, greenery spray and be done with it. I'm going to go ahead and fluff this one. Going through withdrawal, Nancy, you guys are so sweet. I know, I read your, I could read your comments, but you know, when I'm on vacation with my friends and such, I want to, I want to be on vacation. I've spent on a whole life working holidays, weekends, nights, all that kind of thing, so I feel like my, my friends and my, my um, family kind of got neglected. So I've, de I've been determined, I'm gonna, when I'm on vacation, I'm gonna be on vacation. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll still get on there and post some, but I didn't wanna interrupt any of our time with, that kind of, with this kind of thing, if that makes sense. I hope it does. Not anything personal, but, all right, I'm gonna go right about it right in here. You guys feel that way? I know if you're a nurse, you do. You know what I'm talking about because we worked, you know, 24/7. You have to take care of sick people. So there's a lot of holidays like, you know, Christmas, Thanksgiving that we were taking care of the people in the hospitals. Oh goodness, get up in there. Tell you what, that was that's not in there real securely. I mean, I think it'd be okay, but I'm gonna stick a little zip tie on that just to make sure since it especially since it's down here on the dependent side you know gravity can always win so I'm going to go ahead and put a zip tie just to make sure that doesn't go anywhere get in there But while I was gone, we were really, we were in Aruba, and um, it's one of my favorite places to, to visit. We, it was kind of a short, short trip, but it was sure nice to see the, see the beach, have warm weather. And it, it just sprinkled just a little bit the very first night we were there, and after that, it was perfect weather. In fact, we were out. We were eating outside whenever that happened, and um, you know, some of them, some of the people wanted to go inside when it started sprinkling. Um, my husband and and um, a few of the other guys and myself, we all stayed outside. And by the time they got the table moved and everything got inside, it quit raining. <laughs> so, yeah, Nancy, I that's Ray. Yes. Hey, Ellen. So what's everybody been up to? I feel like I've missed all your news. Anybody creating lots of spring wreaths, Easter wreaths? I'm just gonna put a little bit of moss over the top of this uh, zip tie here. Okay, now let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and put my bow on now. And this is really thick. Like I said, it's burlap, it's four inch. Um, has a lot of body, so I did go ahead. I made it with a zip tie. Um, I don't think I'm going to have to cover it up. I usually I put greenery on into my bows anyway, but it, we'll have to kind of pay attention to that. But I was afraid a pipe cleaner wasn't going to hold this sufficiently, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use this zip tie and secure this. But yeah, if anybody, if you ever have a chance to go to Aruba, um, the people are great. The food was fantastic. Um, 
the water was perfect. Last time I was there, I saw a lot of flamingos. Maybe it must have just been the resort we were at, but I didn't see any this time. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure I got this on there tight enough so it's not sliding around. But you know what I was thinking about while I was gone? I feel like we're just getting spring going, summer going. Do you know it's just a couple of months we'll be starting back on fall already? <laughs> hey, Ida May. All right, let me get this bow fluffed out. And I've got three tails here. I don't know if we're gonna leave them. You know, I usually, whenever I'm making a, making a wreath, I usually wait till the end to get the bows or the tails addressed. I do have three tails here. Just thinking that that might add just a little bit of interest to, to our bow since it's kind of plain, but that's okay. That's all right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and um, let me see. Do I want to add the lamb's ear next? I think I will go ahead and add a little bit of it. I probably won't add all of it. We'll come back and add a little bit more later. But I'm going to put a little bit of it in there. It's going to be a lot easier to add the um, lavender because it's going to be real thin. Thin uh, stems. These are a little bit more thick. I think I've missed some comments, you guys. I keep on. I see them go across my Mevo film or Mevo screen, and then I come and I look for them, and they're not on my phone. So if I if you have a question, go ahead, and I don't see it or don't answer it, go ahead and ask again, because um, I. Missed it. Just go right in there. I want a little bit right over here, so I'm gonna. I've got some of these. I borrowed off of a lot of these, and uh, so some of them are have a lot more green than others on them. I'm gonna use one of these short ones that I've already borrowed off of. <laughs> I want to stick a little bit behind the bow right in this area, like right in here. Maybe I'll just, uh, Kelly's wanting to know, do I like a, my restand? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. It was kind of pricey. Um, I got mine from Nancy Alexander with Ladybug Reese. Um, they are pricey, but it was one of my best investments I've made in my business. Um, my husband had made one. It was a tabletop one. And I just kept on knocking it over. It, uh, he had it where it was collapsible and it kept collapsing and that kind of thing. But yeah, I love mine. Love my restand. If you have somebody that's, that you know that's handy, like if your husband does woodworking or something like that, it'd be very easy to build it. Like I said, they are pricey, very, very nicely made. Okay. All right, that's good for the top. Now, let's go and work on a little bit of the bottom, put a little bit of greenery down there, of the lambs ear anyway. Okay, Liz is wanting to know, when I use a zip tie, do I bring it all the way to the back of the wreath to secure? I always weave it, and sometimes it's a challenge. I try not to. I When I'm making a wreath, I try to, I'm thinking about cleanup, because I always like to have a nice, clean, tidy back to my wreath whenever I sell it. Um, so I usually am putting the, I'm, you know, when I'm inserting my stems, I'm trying to avoid anything um, sticking out in the back. Same way with my zip ties. I try not to let it go all the way through and 
try just to grab a few. It's hard sometimes, and sometimes you just can't. But, um, but yeah, that's what I do. All right, you know what? I got sidetracked. I'm think I'm thinking I'm going to put more of the eucalyptus on here too, down here on the bottom. But I want to go ahead and put this on here. I wanted to bring a little bit more of the eucalyptus over there, so let me get another one of those sprays. I don't think I need the whole thing. I think I'm just going to use half of it. And this is why I end up with scraps all over the place because I don't use the whole things. You guys do that. Hey Carmela, thank you for being here you guys. I really appreciate it. Okay, so I was wanting to come down a little bit more full down the bottom, like I said. I, and I, like I said, I got distracted and forgot all about it. Let's see. Right here. Alright, now let's get a little bit more of the, the, uh, the uh, lamb's ear. Let's see what I've got. <laughs> Lori says she ends up with scraps everywhere. I know. I know. That's what I do. And I hate that. But like behind this wall, I've got a little basket. And there's a little basket of yellow flower heads, pink flower heads, um, lamb's ear. You know, just a, a variety. I've got this just little, um, not, not baskets like they're little square baskets that I can put into my pegboard. But... I always think I'm going to go back and use them. Sometimes I do, but... I feel like it's going in there right. And it's not. It's curling up. All right. I've got all my glue off of it now. I was sticking that in there kind of blind. I need to get a better look at it, I guess. There we go. Now I'm going to bring a little bit of lamb's ear behind here, just like I did with this up on top. I think this one will be just right. So have you guys been um, making a lot of Easter? Seems like that's really hot right now. I'm anxious to see. We made the we made the cutest swag in my wreath making group. I'm waiting for you guys to make it so I can see it. I already boxed mine up. It, it's going to Arizona. All right, I'm going to bring another little bit right down in here of the lamb's ear. And then I think we should be pretty good on greens. Making Easter, summer, patriotic. Oh, Jamie, that's what I need to do is patriotic. I think the only one I've got left over from last year is one that it really needs redone. It's one of those you, that you make it and you know it's, you don't like it. <laughs> you don't like it and you know it needs work, but that's what this one is. Actually, I'm looking at it right now. I need to bring it down and fix it before I make another patriotic wreath, that is. Okay, all right, we still need a little bit more right here. I thought that one was going to do it, but right in there. And 
Hey, Kristen, how are you? All right, I see um, somebody had a question about the bind wire. Yeah, it's, it's just bind wire, and you can get it on uh, Amazon. Um, I'm sure craft stores have it too, but I got mine off Amazon, and I've had it. I, you s probably saw it was a big spool, spool of it. It's um, pretty inexpensive, but it, a little of it goes a long way. But yeah, it's bind wire. Okay. All right, I think we're good on greens now. Nancy did redid three weeks and a couple of new. Good. Good, good, good. All right, I, you know, I had a wreath, an Easter wreath. I had it in my shop no less than three years. And I just kept on pushing it to the back, pushing it to the back, and I knew I needed to redo it. I redid it. And actually listed it for some more money, relisted it, and it sold. So I was glad. <laughs> I thought that thing's been sitting in here forever. I needed to do it a long time ago. All right, so like I said, I'm going to use this um, lavender here, and then I'll probably throw in some of this as well, just to give a little bit of variation in the colors. So let's go ahead and. kind of thread or something on that. The Yao yeah, Patriotic sells all year long. You just never know when you're going to sell it. Because, um, you know, people use it for, um, you know, sometimes for funerals and that kind of thing. And I just cut myself. I'm going to have to get a Band-Aid. Sorry. Hang on a minute. Just restocked on those yesterday <laughs> down here. Uh, you guys will probably all watch a lot of videos of people re making wreaths. Am I the only one that does this all the time? I feel like, it, like once a week I'm cutting myself and having to stop and put a Band-Aid on. Right, I see somebody's asking a question. Oh, the lavender. Um, this one is from Regency, Regency International. And um, this one does not have a label on it. Yeah, I'm, it might be Joann's, I don't remember. But um, pretty much everywhere has lavender. It's pretty easy to find. All right. Oh, well, that's a sharp thing on there. That's why I keep on cutting myself. All right, let's see. I'm kind of want, I'm wanting to put this in there kind of concentrated like that, but that bush is not to where I could stick a big piece of it in there together. So I'm just going to cut these off. I'm going to stagger them just a little bit and cut down the um, stems equal just to make it to look a little bit more full. Yeah, Joann's has nice lavender. I, I know I bought some from there several times. But like I said, this one doesn't have a label on it, so I'm not sure. This one, I tell you, it's very nice. Like I said, it's from Regency International. I probably wouldn't buy it again because, again, it's so dark, I really can't use it by itself because it just doesn't photograph well. Um, if you put it with a really light greenery, I guess it would but it just doesn't photograph well. This one, this one should. Oh, 
what did you say you burn yourself i i don't burn myself too often anymore and i mean i used to do it all the time but since i've started using a um a wreath you know a glue pot instead of a glue gun i don't burn myself like i used to now that does not mean i don't get um that i don't get um glue on my fingers but the glue pot doesn't get as hot as the as the glue gun does. I mean, it, it's, it stings, but it just doesn't blister like it used to. All right, so I want to bring some up here toward the front. But this, these lavender and, and uh, eucalyptus wreaths or la lavender and lamb's ear eucalyptus, whichever you're going to make, and you can make them in a you know really pretty easily, pretty quickly, and they're very popular. All right, I want to bring a little bit back here now too, and then we'll move on to the bottom. I'll come back and I'll bring a little bit more back here behind the the bow also. Something like that. I like that this lavender is, you can push it up or spread it out however you want. I found out that's where I cut myself though. There's little wires sticking out from the bottom of them, so you got to be careful. <laughs> now I know that. I don't see any comments on YouTube. Are you guys still there? Can you still see me? I like that. I think we'll stop there. Now we'll work on the bottom here. I so said these all these little things. If you get this lavender, all of these have little pieces of wire sticking out from the bottom. So be careful. That's where I keep on sticking myself. I'm going to try not to cut myself again. All right, we'll go ahead and cut this, the rest of this bush off. Jamie, you've got, oh, Liz has a burn. Didn't even know it happened. I don't know, burns seem like they just hurt so much, so long. I know a lot of people say put, you know, keep a thing of ice water down in your, in your workshop if you're working with a hot glue gun, but I don't know if any of us would do it. Does anybody, do you guys do it? I know one girl, I don't know, maybe, if you're on here, let me know. But I, I know one girl, this is back a couple of years ago, I feel so sorry for her. She got a, a glue gun. She got glue on her finger and wasn't even thinking and brought it up to her mouth. So then her finger was burned and her lips were burned. I, I mean, I know it, I had to hurt. All right, so we got some here. Now let's come down here underneath.
I mean, can you imagine? But it was just reflex, you know. here when we need some over here and now let's see well no I'm gonna go ahead I started to say I was gonna just do single pieces now but I still need a little bit of the double cut off a few more of these I know Maria wasn't that terrible can you imagine but I could see I can see myself doing that. <laughs> I mean, it's just it, you know, reflex. You just do that to cool it off. But whew. all right, think about right in there. But yeah, I like I said, I have not knock on wood. I have not gotten a blister since I went to the glue pot, and I really was reluctant to go to the glue pot because I, you know, it is a little bit messy, but so is having blisters all over your fingers. Okay, one more over here. And this one I think I am going to just do the one, and I'm one and I don't want it this long, so I'm going to need to push these up. Try not to cut myself again. Like I said, and on this bush, for some reason, there's little barbs on each one of these. This is a really nice bush, though. It's all these pieces they're wired all the way to here they're the the lavender parts not wired but the rest of it is it's a really nice bush let's put that right in there YouTube's not working yeah I, it didn't act like it was going to like I said I I had to go out come back and it didn't act like it was going to I was already committed here on Facebook so if I would have gone out it would have had to start all over so I thought well I'll just have to let's have to do it this way you know how technology is <laughs> all right I still need a little bit of the lavender out here I want to put a little bit more back here also Well, this one I'll go ahead and do a couple of them together. You could also, with this same, all these um, ingredients, you could also make a wreath real easily that just went all the way around. Um, I've been kind of, well, I guess I did make one all the way around wreath last week. Well, last week I was here anyway. Um, I, I always like the crescent shapes for some reason. It's just been my go-to over the years. I make a few of them that go all the way around, but... They need, you know, they usually are, you know, quite a bit more expensive too, so it depends on your market. All right, I like that. I feel like I might need one piece right here, and I do have one piece I've got cut. It's right, right in this area. go. 
All right, so let's bring a little bit back here. I'm not so sure I'm gonna need to use that other lavender yet. I'll look at it before we quit, but I'm kinda liking it the way it looks now. <laughs> hey Donna, how are you? All right, for back there, I'm just gonna do one piece at a time as opposed to putting the two together. It's gonna go right in here, right behind the bow. Another piece. And I'm pushing them up, like I said, I don't want them as long as, as these here. I want it pretty compact, so I'm pushing these all the way up. Trying to, anyway. Come on. So have you guys been watching basketball? Are you basketball fans? I haven't been following it much this year, as opposed to how we usually follow. But um, usually when the tournament comes, then we start really paying attention. Okay, I like that right like that. I am uh, bringing it out, not, not just flat. And look and see, see how far that stands away from the wreath. So this one is going to, this one's going to come out, you know, more forward. It's going to be a deep breath. Whoops. I feel like I need a little bit more coming down also. So let's go ahead and maybe we can use this whole bush, right? <laughs> Not have so many scraps. Oh, Nancy's watching golf in Florida. It's awful weather. Yeah, I think the other day when they teed off, it was like 30 degrees. I'm a fair weather golfer. It has to be, it has to be nice. For me to play golf. My husband, he'll go out in bad weather. I do not. It's not my idea of being of fun freezing to death. Right, I'm going to bring one more. Let's see. Right about right in here. And this one's a little bit more flat than the other one was. Okay, all right, so now I think we're good on lavender. I think we got plenty of it. I think we need a little bit more greenery down here, and really I think we need the, the not the lamb's ear, but I think we need something like this. I was thinking something like that right there. I don't know if I can put this all in one piece. really don't think I need all of it though. Let me see what I've got here. I'm going to separate this out. I really want that long leaf eucalyptus. No. Just try it on for size here. I like that. So I'm probably going to cut out some of this. I don't want it too much bulk back there, but we'll go ahead and start by putting this there. Not going to finish today. I 
I think that would be really hard in a golf tournament because you get, you know you get your rhythm going, or or it might be good. I know sometimes it'd be good for me to not finish. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but some days aren't so good for me in golf. Oops. I feel like I need more, but I don't want all of this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and trim off this eucalyptus. We might even be able to use some of that in the bow. I just really want the long leaf. I don't know if I can cut this. I'm gonna try and trim this down so I got a little bit of a stem. I don't wanna to have to use a pick. That's some of the strongest tape I've ever seen. Oh, it's because it's it's got a staple or a um, metal band around it. That's why. I try and do this without cutting myself. Yeah, I can't get it off. It's got a like a clamp around it, so there's no way to get that off. I just don't like those berries on there. So let's I'm gonna do this. I think we're good. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, now we need to do something though with the bow. Go ahead and fluff it out. And this burlap has enough body to it that I should be able to dovetail it. I don't think it's true burlap. I think it's faux, what you call faux bur burlap, but it, I mean, it looks and feels just like it. This one I'm gonna cut off pretty short. You know, most burlap, if, it, if it's the true burlap, a lot of that will fray. This stuff doesn't. All right, now I'm going to turn it toward me so I can see what we've got here. that I like that. I think I'm going to cut that out. I don't like that at all. I thought it would add a little bit of interest, but I don't like it. That just looks a lot more, that just looks uh, more clean to me. Okay, now let's put a few greens on the bow here. Let me see what we got. Actually, I think some lambs there would look real good in there. Let's see if I got any scraps here. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you so much for all the hearts. I really appreciate that. I'm looking to see if I have any scraps. Oh, here's one. Okay. Let's go ahead and put some of this in there. I think that's going to be too much.
One thing about lambs there is hard, you can't, I can't turn the leaves. You know, that's just the way it grows. And it makes it hard to position that sometimes in your design. All right, that one looks all right. So let's do that. I want it looking like it's just coming right out of the center of the bow. We'll put some other stuff in there too. Maybe some of these. Some of this, um, the long leaf eucalyptus, we'll use some of that. Not a lot though, because, and I didn't tell you this, um, they, these greens are plastic. And they're a very high quality plastic. They have, um, they're kind of powdered a little bit too, but they're plastic. So I want to be sure to, to, you know, blend it so it's not so plastic looking, if that makes sense. Um, again, they're good quality plastic, but it's still, I like to, to blend it. So let's put some of that coming straight out. I always like to play around with it first uh, so I make sure that I like where I'm going to put it. Because once you put it into that bow, you're kind of committed. Let's put a little bit of this underneath here. Hey Vince, how are you? Thank you Vince. Thank you so much. I missed you guys. You guys are about the only people I usually talk to all, all week long. My husband, you know, when he comes in from work, but he usually doesn't stay awake very long. All right, let's put this, some of this over on the other side over there. <clears throat> I think I'm going to put some of the lavender in there, too. I've got one more sprig left on that on that bush we were using. So I think we could put some of this in there too. Let's see how we're gonna do this. Like I said, I always make sure that it's going to work before I put it in there because, again, you're committed once you do it. But I just really think it adds a lot of interest. Makes, like I said, it makes your bow look like it's part of the design instead of just perched on top. Hey, Joyce, how are you? Plus it hides that, that zip tie. Remember that we had the zip tie that I had to use for the bow. Come on, another one right straight out. All right, I'm going to turn it toward me now and see what it looks like. I keep going back to this spot right here. I feel like I have a hole right here. I'm going to bring another sprig of just one of the um, lavender. I 
want it to be a pretty long one because I want it to come up here, up here behind, like right there. My eye just kept going back to that spot over and over. Oh, thank you, Lori. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Fran, hi. How are you? Uh, trip was wonderful. It was short. We were only, I mean, the two of the days were spent the whole day traveling. There were some hiccups. Long, long story, but we, like the first day, we traveled all day long. Like all day. <laughs> we, didn't, it, we didn't get there until late. So we couldn't really do anything the first day. And then um, the same thing coming home. It wasn't as bad with as many hiccups, but it was a long day. So we really only had three days that we got to do anything. But it was, it was good. It was still good to get away. But thank you for asking. All right, I still, right here, right here. I just want something thin. Let me turn this off. Trying to work this up here. There. Right there. Do you guys talk to yourself when you're designing? <laughs> I do. Because even, even if you guys were not here, I would still say I want to get right there. Right there. Okay, that makes me happy now. All right, one last look. I think we're done. I think we're good. I'm not going to use that other lavender. Oh, thank you, Sue. Thank you. All you do is play with Larissa and wait for packages. Yes, that's it. That's our life, isn't it, Vince? Thank you, Claudia. I didn't even see you there. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, if anybody's over here from YouTube, I apologize for some reason. I don't know. There was some kind of hiccup. Oh, Sandra, want to know, do all husbands make comments about packages and tired of their remarks? <laughs> yes. Yes, I tell you, Sandra, mine's gotten a lot better since I'm here all day instead of working. What I hated to do before was, um, you know, I worked, and I was hoping that I'd beat my husband home. <laughs> but, but yes, yes, that's common. But I told him, I said, I told him, sometimes he'll come down to the door and just shake his head. I said, if you're going to make bad comments, turn around and walk away. So, oh, hey, Valerie, how are you? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Susan, yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, that's what I was wanting to do today, just something simple. And um, I didn't want to just make a, an ordinary, you know, circular lavender and lamb's ear wreath, but I love it. And as I said, I think it's something that you could use all year long. You wouldn't have to necessarily take it down. Uh, thank you, Lori. Thank you. Oh, Mandy says hers does. You shut him up. He has two race cars in the garage. Well, Mandy, then you've got an unlimited budget then. <laughs> Those things are expensive, I know. Uh, my old boss used to have race cars, and I know that was, that's pricey. So... <laughs> How things can secretly make themselves into the house. Yes. I love, there's this one um, meme on Facebook, I don't know if you guys saw it, where they've got a guest bedroom, and uh, when you pull back the sheets on the bed, it's all Amazon boxes. That's That would be our house. <laughs> so, okay. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. Like I said, I missed you guys so much. It was really good to get on here and get to talk with you. And um, as always, I do have a um, link in the comments if anybody's interested in purchasing. 
If you click on that link, it'll take you right to my Etsy shop where you can um, purchase this free. Otherwise, it'll be, um, I'll get the photos done and that and, and make the listing formal then probably tomorrow. So, oh, Sandra, <laughs> you tell him he needs a hobby. <laughs> oh, Mandy, I missed you guys too. I really did. Yeah, tell him he needs a hobby. So, but thank you guys so much for being here this afternoon. And if you wouldn't mind if, to share this onto your page, then uh, it not only helps me, but then if you ever want to come back and revisit this at any point, it'll always be on your feed. So, um, it kind of gives me a little bit more Facebook juice too. And I've got some ground to make up because I didn't go live at all this while I was gone. So, oh my gosh, Claudia, your husband's so supportive. I need to get my husband and your husband linked up. Because <laughs> mine is not. Hey, Ethel May. How are you? There's Joan. Hey, Alicia. Okay. All right. Well, you guys have a great rest of your evening. Say a prayer for Ukraine. Anybody? I know locally here, we've got several people in our community from that uh, area that has family but if you wouldn't mind just saying a prayer for them and keep them in your thoughts tonight and um, I will be live at least by Tuesday I will oh wait a minute Tuesday yes I should be live Tuesday I've got a dentist appointment in the mor morning but hopefully it won't take that long but I should be live Tuesday for Bow Tuesday will be at one o'clock um, Eastern time and we'll be making bows I'm on the fence about some ribbon I've got. I might list some new ribbons. Um, I don't know. There's That's a long story behind that, too. But, but anyway, we'll be at least making bows. Okay? All right. Thank you guys so much, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.